All right, what's up everybody? Um, today we're going to be extending this sprinkler head over to there. Uh, you can see I have some dead, some dead spots here. I should have done this a long time ago, but um, basically I had a landscaper come back here and put all these pavers in all the way across the yard and he was supposed to extend the sprinkler heads. But just like many other people you hire, sometimes you get ripped off and they don't finish the job. Uh, I've already had to do one over here. You can see right here, I had to extend one from here over to there. So we're just gonna be doing the same thing from here over to here. Uh, here's really all the tools you'll need um, or a different variation. Um, I don't have like a trenching dig tool, so um, I have to use a pick, you know, shovel and a little shovel. But that's basically all you need to do it. You know, you need your pipe, a coupler, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Um, and then of course some cutters. Uh, the speaker is optional. So I won't uh, bore you with the details of digging. Uh, we'll see you. I'll turn this thing back on after we're, um, after I'm at least dug step by step. You can see I just kind of got my trench dug here. Um, this is just the basic, but you know, now I'm digging around this sprinkler head. Um, so basically all you want to make sure you get all the way down to the bottom, uh, so you can work with the existing pipe that's in there. So we found our depth here. Um, I'm still gonna have to go down a little bit further, but you can see I finally hit that white pipe. This one's probably about a foot down, honestly, maybe a little less. One thing. Uh, that I always recommend is never use a big shovel like that once you're starting to get down because if you you know I'm using this little tiny one just to dig around it so if you use a big shovel it's a very high probability of busting right through that white pipe and then you're gonna have to dig back further to fix it so um, I know that from experience unfortunately really as far as we need to now in this case um, you know I didn't really dig out you can go back further if you want to, but I don't find it necessary. All you need really is enough. If you can get your hand under here, a pretty good clearance, which I can, because all I'm basically gonna be doing is just kind of lifting this up a little bit, putting this coupling on here and extending it. That's really all you need to do. Um, now this trench, as far as how deep it needs to go, you know, there's really a couple options. Like in this case, you can see, so I put this thing back to basically where I'm gonna Put it in probably be about right there um, so I need to cut up here uh, now you don't have to make this trench as deep as that I mean you can that's probably the ideal way to do it but it really depends on how big your sprinkler head is and how high it's gonna stick out so um, no obviously I'm not gonna use this giant black thing I just need one piece to screw in but the nice part about this is that it's going up against some concrete. The lawnmower is not going to ever touch it. Uh, I'm not gonna have it sticking out all the way, but I don't need to bury it underground. So now if it was out in the middle, then yeah, I would have to do that. But in this case, I won't have to. So, so this is where we're at now. All right, so we got everything dug, we're test fitting. I'm probably gonna dig that just a tad bit deeper uh, cause it's, you know, a little bit up there, but test fitting everything. Um, so you can see, I haven't glued anything yet, just want to see kind of where we're at. Clean up that um, PVC on the end. Basically just stick it on, and that should be it. Um, but like I said, this is not gonna, there's no lawn mower here or anything. Actually, I just push that down a little bit. That's probably good right there. I'll probably just leave it there. Um, now maybe I'll dig it out a little bit more, but I'm gonna glue these, dig that out, glue those pieces in, and then we should be good to go. Always make sure you have a giant black lab helping you too, right? Thanks for the help. So we're just letting this dry here. Should be dry now and we're gonna put it in. All right, and there is your finished product. Everything glued in, looking good, perfectly in there. Now I just have to clean up this area and uh, test it before we fill in the dirt. All right, so we just turned it on. I can already see that it's working, uh, but I obviously need to adjust some stuff here. If I can 
can see it's spraying the wall. So, let's fix that. That's a little bit too much. There we go. That should be good. Turn it a little bit. All right. And there she is. And so the whole reason I had to do this is that sprinkler head that was there, again, it wasn't getting this area. You can see it was spraying everywhere except for here. But now the problem is fixed. So now all I got to do is, um, obviously there's no leaks there. I don't see anything happening over there. Let's see. No, it looks good. So now all this area is getting watered. Uh, now I just have to put all this dirt back in here and call it good. So thanks for watching guys. I hope this helped somebody. Again, it's pretty easy. On a scale of one to 10, the actual replacing of everything is about a two. It's just the digging that's about six or seven because you gotta dig. So have a great day guys. Take care.